most doctors, unfortunately, they don't get trained. Yeah. There's no peptide school. When I first started, probably five years now, I used to have to explain what a peptide is to everybody. Now it's like, they're like, oh yeah, I heard of that. The difficulty is now. Dr. Greg Jones is a naturopathic medical doctor and founder of Innovative Wellness Center in Phoenix, Arizona. After a 20-year career in the U.S. Navy and time as an aerospace engineer, he discovered his calling in functional medicine. Today, he's a leading voice in peptide therapy and longevity medicine, training physicians worldwide through ISCA. Hey, I'm here with Dr. Greg Jones. He's an owner. We're a fan of yours. We follow your work. Oh, so you. it's, it's really great for us to have you here. Thank you. Um, Tell me a little bit about your practice and uh, what it what you do and the presentation that you just gave you that was fantastic, by the way. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it, man. I was worried that you would, you would didn't want to talk to me anymore after the presentation. It's like, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> and also, I was like, yeah, just send that guy home. Don't worry about dinner. Uh, but no, man, so my practice is the Innovative Wellness Center in Phoenix, Arizona. We're a longevity-focused practice. Uh, and under that umbrella, we do peptides, hormones, NAD, mitochondrial function. I do regenerative medicine as well, PRP, exosomes, uh, hair regeneration. So I put all that under the umbrella of longevity. How long ago did you start with the peptides? Oh, man. Um, I'm like probably five years now, five or six years. So what do you think about this explosion now? Because, oh, five years ago, this one. It was like, it was just me. I was the only yeah. person. I was, yeah, man. Yeah, pretty much. Now I got competition. Yeah. Um, but no, man, I, I think that it's evolved. There's more peptides now when I started. Uh, I think more people know about it. I think that's the biggest thing. When I first started, I used to have to explain what a peptide is to everybody. Yeah. Now it's like, they're like, oh yeah, I heard of that. Oh, yeah, well, my friend's taking this, and my friend's taking that, and then they'll, or they'll listen to my podcast and go, I, you know, they know. And that's made it easier, but I think the difficulty is now they're, it, it's so many voices, they're like, oh, they, they, it's like, it's good to be an expert. Yeah. And so it's no because they're just finding all this information online. It's good to say no, this is how I want you to do it. And I think that's why, like, you know, doing the certification that you guys are doing is great because most doctors, unfortunately, they don't get trained. Yeah. There's no peptide school. Exactly. So if you, a lot of doctors, man, patients come in, their dosing is raw. They, they've never cycled off. And it's like, oh, shit. And I feel bad because that doctor wasn't trying to do wrong. They just didn't know any better, right? So I think having more education is going to be the wave of the future for peptides. And you, I mean, obviously you, you are being like a gifted lecturer and educator. Are you like focusing on that as a second career? Like, uh, yeah, you know, man, uh, it's funny, man. I was telling um, one of my friends, I was like, man, you know, eventually I want to get into writing books and lecturing because I want to, if I do this right, I'll train the, my doctors, I'll train doctors and they can do these things, right? And that's the goal, right? Because... I mean, I, I'm, I'm getting old. I'm getting old, Benito, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it's like, I don't, I don't want to do this every, I want to do this every day. Yeah. You know, but right now I'm having fun, but eventually I want to transition to more of an educator role, uh, speaking roles and things like that. That's the long term goal. Yeah, and, then, so. and how do you see, I mean, obviously you've seen the explosive when you started five years ago to now. What do you see this going in the next couple of years? Man, I see it becoming part of standard of care. Yeah. You know, and it may not, it may take five or ten years because, again, I think we're still going to get pushback from pharmaceutical we're companies. Getting, we're getting a lot of... And of, of what's going... Either, in my mind, what's going to happen is they're going to start making their own versions of it. it I, I have a feeling, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, like, oh, we can do a version of CJC or do this. That's one way they'll go with it, right? The other way is they just won't touch it at all. But I think if it becomes standard of care where it's like... Maybe they'll treat it like a supplement where it's like pharmaceutical companies don't care about turmeric. They don't care about fish oil, right? But they know people are using it, right? That would be nice. Yes. But the problem is, is that when people start healing, they're not going to take less medication. And I think that's kind of the great unknown, you know, but I would hope it will become standard of care. Like if you have arthritis, like I just talked about that. The first. Then you are going to change your diet, lifestyle. Here's the peptides you're going to do versus doing a peptide before ibuprofen. Yeah. That would be great. You know, uh, less side effects, more healing ability. But I hope that's what the future holds, man. We'll see. We'll see. It's gonna be interesting for sure. I'll see. And, uh, and um, about your price, you have like does this one location? And you know? well, right now, one location in Phoenix. I have two doctors uh, that work with me. Uh, eventually, I'm gonna grow. And that's the whole thing about me teaching, and then I step back. 
There you go. Oh, yeah. that's what I want to do. I look forward to that day, man, where I can just yeah. just hang out. Yeah, I mean, you have the talent for it, so why not? Yeah. What do you think about the conference? How do you it's, like? It's you're... great, man. You know, the lectures have been amazing. The speakers have been great. Uh, I think I was the only nervous person on stage, and everyone else is so chill. Man, I, I think the atmosphere is great. Everyone has been so, like, they want to learn. They're here. There's no egos. Sometimes you go to conferences, and everyone's so good, man, you know, so... And these are big time speakers here, man. Like, yeah. like, man, uh, Dr. Dr. Mike Chan, he's big time, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Dr. Cook, these are these are you know big time speakers, man. And it's just an honor to to be on stage, man. You know, and it's been great, you know. So listen, we're honored to have you. I hope this is the first first of many. I hope so too. I was worried about that. I was like, y'all so nervous. I was like, oh shit, that's probably why I was nervous. So you're gonna be that thing award to one of you are looking for. Yeah, yeah. Those I think website workshop tomorrow. Yes. That's what I was nervous about. I was like, oh shit, if I mess this up, I ain't gonna be back. Oh, no. They'll never let me back in Cancun. They'll stop me at the airport. I can't even visit. By all means, I mean, we're we'll, we'll lucky to have you. Yeah. So yeah, we're looking forward. Uh, the tutorial is gonna be conducting a, yeah. a workshop certification, we call it. It's gonna be 30, 35 doctors, which is, this is different to these doctors because then yeah. here you have people that come from a whole different reasons. The group that you're going to have tomorrow, they're coming for you. Yeah, they are. It's just, they're specifically yeah, for pet size. I know. So. Very smaller group. More intimate. Smaller group. Intimate settings. They're going to probably grill you with Q&A and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. So sure. we're trying to make it the same ambience, like more informal, like I'm yeah. friendly. Okay. And is there a stage or is it just in a room? It's going to be. It's a, it's a, it's a hotel room. So it's a, a, conference so room. a conference room. Smaller than this, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Small stage. It's more intimate environment. Okay, good, good. So I'm sure you guys are going to do great. So okay, yeah, but thank you so much for coming. Thanks, Benito. I appreciate you, man. Thank you.